Alright. What is up you guys? It's your boy Rob. Hollow Avarice back again to continue our stream of the, the quarry. Um, really enjoying our journey into Hackett's quarry so far. Uh, we got a, a lot going on. Um, we finished chapters four and five last time. I'm fixing to do six and seven this time. I should really Google how many chapters there are. Uh, that would probably be a, a smart idea to know how much I should plan ahead. Uh, I, I'm continuing, right? Yep. Uh, I've missed a bunch of clues, missed a bunch of cards, but I think I'm doing all right on evidence so far. I think they've made the evidence a little easier to find. So we're going to pick up exactly where we left off. Um, we're doing well learning about the Freak Show Fire, not so much about the Hackett history. I'm, I've clearly missed uh, a little bit about that. I feel like this is a lot of stuff I've gotten earlier. These are all different story events that I've gotten. There's one, two, three, four, five more story events. And uh, everyone right now, where we last left off Emma, had escaped the island via zip line. We don't know where she is. And Jacob set out to find her. We don't know where he is. Um, Nick, Caitlin, and Abby were in the lodge when one of the hunters came in, stole Caitlin's gun. Um, what else did I write? Um, Nick was a bit of a dick. Abby, but it was grateful to Abby for saving him. So I got those. Dylan and Ryan went to the radio shack. Or radio hut, sorry. Um, to send out a signal. But we successfully signaled the hunters who are hunting us. We used the sound system to scare off the werewolf, but not before it bit Dylan. And Ryan had to cut off his hand with a chainsaw. Evil dead style. We all met back up after the monster got scared away. And went to the pool house when we saw someone run. Uh, someone chase another person into the pool house, I think it was. And shoot them. Leaving a dead body floating in the pool. No clue what that is about yet. And that, I think, I assume, is where we're going to start. We did get one clue, and it's... Jacob in a... Bear we trap. Spend we did so hear about that. We time we looking that. toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets, too. I'm working on clues, Worth yo. remembering that. So, it's goodbye again. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. Thank you, old lady. I still don't know who you are. I still think that could be the hag of Hackett's Quarry. She kind of resembles the visage we've seen. Wandering. Okay, oh no, we're back to Jacob. Chapter 6, Prayers by Night. Emma! Jesus Christ. She's... Fuck! Nope. Oh. That's the hag. Man. God, that sucks ass. Jacob. Don't. Emma, is that you? My dude. Fuck. Okay, so that's where we came. I like how he never bothered putting on clothes. There we go. There's no underpath. Okay. Even Emma put on clothes when she was 
wandering about. Alright, we're gonna look around for... Oh, there's something. Yeesh. I'm gonna fall off this. Well, now I'm worried we are gonna f fall off this. Why would you say that? Why would you bring that up, my guy? Bozell. Fucking hell. <sighs> okay. And here we find an old camera. An old time of camera. Can I use it as like a zoom? Does it have a flash that I can scare? Oh, nope, evidence, a memory card. We have know several people have gotten lost in the woods. Could this be one of theirs? Maybe there's something on here. You don't have pockets, my guy. Where? A Hoitema camera. And I don't... We can walk along this, but I don't think there was anything in the immediacy. Yeah, no. And you could hear them howling in the distance. Alright. So there's that way. Justice! An eye for an eye, not exactly in some cases, but cause and effect, actions and consequences. There's a balance to everything. And we all play a part in making sure the scales aren't tipped. All right. All right. Justice. So we were going to the boathouse to the zip line to get a boat to go to the island. To find Emma. I'm hearing the voice again. Are we gonna see Emma drop down from the zip line because she was zipping across? Oh God, Emma! Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> God, no way. Am I glad to see you? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Ugh. You left me back there, you asshole. You went to the come island. On, come on. What the fuck is going on? Look, I don't know, okay? Some, like, bear attacked Nick and Abby back there. Yeah, me too, but it definitely was not a bear. What? Who? When? Why? Sorry, I'm just... I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, barely. I mean, the thing that attacked me at the treehouse was like... What? It was like what, Emma? Like, out of a horror movie. Okay, um... Well, it, it was probably just like a, a bear trying to defend itself, you oh, know? don't be a dick. You, you know it wasn't a fucking bear. No, you're right. You're right. And now we have these fucking the, the hunters running all over the place. So that's a fun new wrinkle. They did this to me. That's a lot of blood. Yeah, well, it's not mine. Mm, got quite the funky bouquet. No offense. Um, Okay. They're werewolf okay, hunters. We've got to get out of these woods. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> okay, don't be a. You know, Jacob. Yeah. You don't have to be a dick about literally everything. Oh, 
shit. Okay, you know what? You're right. Okay? You're right. I'm sorry. Oh, you're so annoying. Oh my god, can we please not do this right now? Okay, seriously? I literally came looking for you as soon as I heard there was something out here. Or things? Like plural? Wait, really? <sighs> yep. It's gonna be a QT. Oh. Oh god, that's ugly. Silas. Sorry. He's chasing me. He's not chasing you. Hiding from them has worked in the past. Maybe not this time. Surrounded by bear traps. Look at them all. I saw five bear traps there. This is the scene. Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! Oh. Yep. Oh. Oh. Uh, pry open. Don't pull free. That's... But that was a, a death trigger, so I'm not dead. Because that was one of the things we saw in the tarot card, so it wasn't a death, it was a possible death there. Okay. A woman dead in the pool. Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. You okay? I don't know who that other girl was. I've never seen her before. Me neither. But her? Yeah. That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? Oh, that's Chris's daughter. It brother. was uh, Kaylee and Caleb. Kaylee. Yeah. I thought so too. Oh, man. Poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell so good. You all right there, bud? Maybe dial it back a bit, huh? Fuck off, Caitlin. Whoa. Yeah. Nick was bit, so is this... Nick, what do you... I want to taste you. Hey. Come here, huh? Nick, what the hell? Uh, get off! Uh, watch out! I said get off! Yeah. Nick? Is this Nick becoming... I 
<laughs> yeah, look, you can see like the infection in his veins. What did I do? I, I don't know. He's so cold. Okay, let's get him in the pool house. Dry him off. <laughs> so Kaylee's dead. And there was a person with an eye patch that we saw. I thought it was the eye patch person who died. Okay. Just try to rest. I'm sorry. Ah! Quit moving so much. It's pretty clean from what I could tell. I mean, it's not bleeding. But you need to see a doctor. Nine. This is all I've got left from the nurse's station. Ooh, fun. You better hope uh, we find you some real help before they wear off. We need to be she got painkillers? Everything that happens for the police. Yeah, dead girl in the pool needs some explaining, huh? <sighs> Easy, man. I mean, like photos, whatever we can. I've got a funny feeling that the cops are not going to want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on, evidence. If, if you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? Keep Abby busy. Oh, there's a portable heater here. That's good. I wonder where Caleb is. Camper's photo. Oh, that's uh Ryan. So it's Ryan, Caleb, and Kaylee when they were younger. Lockers. Well, that's... This place... Spooky drawing. The ghost stories left a mark. Could that be the hag of Hackett's Quarry? So different, like 12 hours ago. Guys, I'm two for two, and I'm feeling pretty high right now. How poignant tonight of all nights to harness your fear and anxiety and turn them into intuition. So these just showers? Man, the, the lighting is not doing this any justice, but it probably is pitch black in here, so that's, you know, fair.
Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like a... He was like a fish out of water. Ah. Right? Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too, at the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit or scratched or whatever. He just kept moving around like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Mm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. <sighs> I think Abby would beg to differ. Point. Yeah, isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? It is. Hydrophobia, yeah. But I, I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> like a wild yeah. animal plunged into the water. I think he's going wolf. Abby? He's wolfing out. Yeah? Can I ask you something? Of course. Like me. Nick. Please just tell me. I've really enjoyed spending time with you this summer. That's such a oh, such a such what? All right, well, Abby, uh, what? he's acting a lot. I've got something to ask you. Uh, Very different than he was even a few yeah. hours ago. Okay. Why don't you like me, Abby? I'm gonna go apprehensive right Nick, here. You're different. No, no. Just Nick. Good old big dick Nick. What well, the hell? I'm sick, Abby. Why don't you care about me? I do. I. I. I Really very smart, aren't you? Poor stupid Abby. Stop. Don't Easy be Easy pickings. Oh, right off the bone. This isn't you. I mean, this this isn't you. I... <gasps> oh, what the hell? Whoa. Whoa, Abby. Abby, everything okay? Holy shit. Yeah, I think Nick's... Oh, man, we're trapped in here with him. Oh, God, look at his eyes. Yeah. We're not gonna get the save, everyone. I'm sorry. I think he's healing. We don't have silver bullets. We don't have silver bullets. It's not gonna kill him. We're okay. Yeah, he's getting back up. What the fuck? Look a fucking blood pinata. What the? Blood Pinata Werewolf confirmed. Holy shit. Holy hell in a handbasket. That was. He popped like a balloon. Like putting too much blood inside of a balloon. That's the, the fuck is it? 
Well, you heard Jacob say that Nick was really badly hurt. They wouldn't stay out here in the rain during an animal attack. You have to assume. Okay. So, if I were a counselor at an off-season camp, partying around a bonfire, and it started to rain, and there were monsters, I would go... The launch. Obviously. There's something there. Only one left. Fire firecrackers. Okay, watermelons and beer. There's the island. Thank you, Emma, for having your phone out at least. Seriously. Ryan's hmm. stories again. I had no idea kids were getting freaked out about this stuff. We officially suck as counselors. That looks like the other half of the drawing that we just found as Abby. Right, it looks like it's connected. Uh, ghost stories. The letter matches up with the drawings. Why is it torn up? Maybe there's something to this ghost story. All right, I'm not doing bad for camp history. I only missed one, it looks like. I wonder if I can see that. Hey, Mom. Uh, oh, yeah, there you go. Camp is so fun. Mr. Hackett's teaching us so much. My friend Josh said he saw a ghost. I think he's lying. But I drew a picture of her anyway. She looks angry, but I think sometimes people are angry. That means they're just sad inside. We're going sailing the lake tomorrow. And this world, can't wait. Love, Rowan. All right, well, you know what? I'm glad all the kids are gone. I'm glad Rowan's alive. Because she seemed to jump back from that ghost story very quickly. So I was down by the f fire pit, which is there. I think we found the rest of the boar whose head was severed and stuck on that spike. down there was the right way. I think down was the right way. Right? Based off this map.
So the lodge would actually be this way then. Yeah. Getting a cutscene, so I think that means I'm heading the right way. Do I still have that taser and that bear spray? Well, the taser I threw away. There's the lodge. Now, we're on top of the cliff where the creature was just looking down on us. So be ready for QTEs. Before pop, let's do it fast. That's it. But there's another one now. Cracker to the face. Caitlin! Close the Ryan! door. Abby! Oh my god, I hate all these kids. Close the door. It doesn't feel safe. Emma's fought off two monsters so far. Ryan? Were they the same monster? Did it follow me from the island? Or can they not swim? Which is why Nick was freaking out in the water. Hide in the truck? That's not bad. Just like lay down. because Nick stole the damn uh, rotor arm. Okay, we're back at the pool. Glowing green in the moonlight. A giant hole in the fence. I killed him. I killed him. I mean, dead people don't usually jump out of windows and run into the forest. We're all covered in his blood. Abby, he was gonna hurt you. You were defending yourself. He uh, threw uh, you. I don't know that for sure. I do. No. No. He... It was you or him. Tossed your ass. And, well, that definitely wasn't him. Man, this is so fucked. Oh, shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Who 
Who's there? I need your help. Please. Who are you? My name is Laura Kearney. Laura! Hello? Don't let me in. In the prologue. Out here. Uh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit, you... Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yes? You were supposed to be working, uh... Helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her inside. I like Laura. Okay. I'm gonna open the door slowly. Just keep your hands up, okay? Okay. All right. Damn, Laura, what happened to you? Laura was eye patch girl. Okay. Eye patch, Laura. So what happened to Max? Here we are again. We know Max was mauled Just by possibly you, a wolf me. boy named Ian. Why don't we take another look at what you've found? Justice. An eye for an eye. Not exactly in some cases, but cause and effect. Actions and consequences. There's the balance. These are the things I read. And okay. We all play a part in making sure the scales aren't tipped. Gotcha. The moon. How poignant. God, look at that moon. I love the Tonight design of the moon. Tonight of all nights, to harness your fear and anxiety and turn them into intuition. If you can do this and plan ahead, your cunning might just save your life. Now tell me, would you like to delve deeper into one of many possible futures? I would. Make your choice. Let's see. I feel like it's the most apt. Let's check out the moon. Off you go then. Top, top. One down. Was that Laura that needling the cop? The cop who I believe is one of the Hackett's. So, uh, why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. Yeah. Because you didn't go to the damn Harbinger Motel. Is this, are we picking up right where the prologue left off? Kaylee's dead. So K Love is still out there somewhere. Yeah. C Hackett and T Hackett. So Chris Hackett, we know, so this has got to be T Hackett. So this. Max. Reactionist. Activated 15 interrupts. Cool. Hey. Come here. Come on. This is the cop. He's got us locked up. Get in there. Fucking do it. 
Run can do it. Max was bitten. Max is a werewolf. So he was trying to help us by not getting us turned into werewolves. And we... Okay. Not the, the friendliest, but I get where he's coming from. What have you done to Max? Shut up. You can't just... Shut up! This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. <clears throat> Name. Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brindley, he's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. That's how this works. Okay. Again, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. Fine. Because I feel like it's a bit of a red no, herring. No. I feel like they made him oh. very suspicious up front oh. at the top of the game. Ah. Uh. Why were we going to Hackett's Quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were, like, way closer to the camp, and we're broke. Mm -hmm. North Kill. Sheriff. Okay, Sheriff. Hack it. Wait, hack it? Like, Chris hack it? Don't change the subject. What the fuck is going on here, man? You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. You just stepped in some grade A double prime go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit young lady and your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say do you understand please you just stop trying to intimidate me and tell me what the fuck is going on he's losing his is patience so I'm not gonna lash out is Max alive I feel like I'm going crazy. What? All right. No, he's going to undo my cuffs. Don't lash out. See? Okay. Let's go. Never mind. Never mind. He didn't undo my cuffs. Hey. He's just fully naked. Hey, you. No, he's in underwear. Okay. What the, what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me! Yeah, are you okay? Max! Are you okay? Yeah. I mean, I'm... I'm kind of all mixed up, but... More or less intact, I think. No wounds on his body. Laura? He was mauled. Yeah. They healed. Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked... 
the next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell and you're gone and now you're back again and, and, and I'm super naked and there's blood and stuff everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? I was kind of hoping you could tell me what happened. I feel like I remember bits and pieces, but none of it makes any sense. Yeah, same. I, I feel like... Were we drugged? I feel like maybe we were drugged. By a cop? Well, do they do that? We were definitely drugged. Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and... Yep, he's a hack it. Okay. We're gonna stay calm and rational during this. Get dressed. What's he giving you? I'm not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? Sorry, sir. We'll be quiet. We will? Max? We're playing this hey, right. What do with my real girlfriend? <laughs> to be fair, Laura was the one that I made rational. Ah, the cop didn't expect this. She's the one who I made rational right, during the prologue. Hands through the bars. Come on. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey. Let's Get go. the fuck off. Come on. Move. Good boy. Treating him like an animal. Treating him like a dog, hey. grabbing him by the scruff of his neck. Stop struggling. Max, calm down. You're only making it worse. Laura. We don't want no police brutality. Shut up. Okay. 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 Think, Laura, think. There's gotta be something in here you can use. We have a prison cell exploration? Okay. While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. The scrawled limerick. limerick. There's something by the... Ooh! The world! No, I don't think I got it. Can I do it? Can I do that again? There we go. Ah, the world. Sorry, the world though. Okay, so there's the bed, and there's this. What is this? What's this? A loose brick? Yeah, buddy. Not a chance. I need some sort of lever. Something to pry it open with? A rusty old meth spoon? Awesome. Oh, yeah, this ought to do it. Ah, yes. A 
And it's just a hole in the wall. I'm gonna write that down. That seems odd. So we're in the town right now. This and this is right after, so this is two months ago. Watch it, man. I bruise easily. Give me a break. The second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. The second you get out. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Hey! What the fuck is that supposed to mean, asshole? Hey, you can't just leave us in here! Hey! Come back! Okay. Fuck! Son of a pinky buck. Check Be in okay? on him first. It's just a foot. It'll heal. I meant the interrogation. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Can't break old Max. Many have tried, many have failed. I'm being serious, Max. Instead of being playful, that wasn't the option I chose. Yeah. He, uh, he just asked a lot of questions. And you were a lot honest? Of weirdly specific questions about us and where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning. And I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. He didn't well, ask he didn't me ask that. You? No. Huh. Rude. And he's perfectly fine. No blood on his body. But this confirms. So, they are werewolves. It was only during the, the night. And then they go back to normal. Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? Could... It's Hackett. Theory time. Could it be... Kaylee and Caleb? Could they be the monsters? I'm... Think that's what I, I'm just thinking out loud now. Okay. Sheriff. Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? Oh my god, you suck, Max. As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Man. Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Where we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's, I mean. Specific. What? Well, I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but he's not acting like a typical cop either. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? I watch TV. I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. Makes sense. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you we have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? This isn't forever, Max. You, you can't just hold us here forever. You didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? 
Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that. Think about the rest of the summer, Max. Build them up. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. First, we're gonna get the hell out of this mess and enjoy the rest of summer, and then college. I mean, if we're gonna freaking crush it at orientation, we gotta get all our classes down. Laura. Did you look at all the options, by the way? I mean, it's a lot easier for me because I just need the classes that'll let me major in veterinary sciences. Laura. You're undecided, so you have to make sure you get a really good balance. Okay, Laura. Everything. She wants to be a vet. Stop. I mean, she has medical training. That's why she was gonna be the nurse. Why? I, I didn't get in. What? I got rejected from the wait list. Why didn't you tell me? I, I was embarrassed. Wait, your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! You've been making plans, Max, what the fuck? I don't know, what do you want me to say? I'm sorry, Max. This, this really sucks. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen. Path updated. Oh, this is the, the fireworks. Wait. Emma was able to escape the attacking werewolf with the firework. Cool. Here's Laura and Max. Laura tried to help Max. Max was concerned about Laura's well-being. Laura was sympathetic over Max's rejection letter. Cool. Piece of silver's betrayal. Abby shot Nick and he fled out the window. So that's betrayal. Jacob was captured. This summer. Okay. So we know where everyone is now. I'm sorry. But Emma's still on her own. I shouldn't have kept it from you. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay. Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great. Sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into that... Thing. Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Now that I know, it actually, could be a werewolf. Yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal. You remember that? It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Yeah, that was really sketchy. What if he's okay. not even a real cop? Well, he's got to be dirty, but I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like. Nobody else around. Budget cuts. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. We never got confirmation from Chris. We left, Laura just left a message. Okay. We then broke into the basement and found one of the creatures. So we saw one of the werewolves that we almost ran into, but there was also one locked in the basement of the uh, building. So that's why I'm leaning towards it being Caleb. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Yeah. Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is... 
Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods, and you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month. Yeah, so? Right, so, you know, full moon. Yeah. What if, uh... Okay, no, stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. Ding, 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 ding. Are you out of your- Goddamn mine? <laughs> Werewolves? Nice cut. Seriously? What the fuck? What, 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 what's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like, zombies, aliens, time-hopping Draculas? Ryan, right? Yeah. You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again, you're on your own. Her face has scars all over it. Whatever. You cut off your friend's hand because really of infection. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. Okay, you were not talking so rational when you separated my hand from the rest of my body. You told me to. And if it's bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. What? You did the right thing. See? She's got a whole poem about it. <laughs> There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish, and you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. Did she show him her eye? But I think you should hear all of it. Where's Caitlin and Abby? The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot, as much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max. We just kept going over it all again and again and until one month later because the, the camp incident so right now is two months after the all we knew is that we needed to get out of there he's just repeatedly doing different exercises i can't take this anymore not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, a plan. We keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you Max, and I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you Street stuck in smarts. my teeth. Okay, okay, stop. Wolf Just smarts. one problem at a time. All right, we we don't even know if that's what's really going on and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or we try to catch him off guard and make our escape. Okay. Reckless, curious. What okay, if we get on his good so, side? Let's say we That's get on his side. That's the route I've been leaning. 
What then? Brunch in mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Yeah, I was being rhetorical. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he don't even talk to us half the time. I don't know. I think we could crack him. Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us. Permanently. I think we should try. I mean, if he was gonna kill us, we'd be dead by now. So what's he waiting for? Look, we just... If this doesn't work, we try to escape. Deal? Yeah. Deal. So, all right, how are we supposed to get this guy to like us if he won't even talk to us? I don't know. I mean, he's got to have a weak spot, like something we can use. Mm-hmm. It's not like we don't have time to figure it out. Ian, whoever Ian is. Yeah. Okay. And how does this tie in with Silas? Maybe Silas was the original werewolf and the escape the cage. Hey, hey, T-Money. Can I call you T-Money? T-Money. Why? You... You can call me Officer Hackett. Okay. Hackett? Like as in Hackett's quarry? What's it to you? Just interested is all. Feel like we hardly know you. Well, let's keep it that way, okay? Okay. Oh, come on, T-Money, lighten up, man. No reason we can't be buds, right? I can think of seven. You're right. We've been just awful, and we really want to make it up to you. We've been terrible. Oh. I see what you're doing. Well, it's not gonna work. You think we're just gonna be besties, and I'm gonna let you walk right out of here. Not gonna happen. Asshole! Max! We know what's going on! We know Max is a werewolf! There you go. Full moon's in a few days, right? What, what then? No, ma'am. You don't know the half of it. So have the Hackett's maybe been dealing with the werewolves this whole time? I said, take your fucking clothes off! Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? Get the July 23rd, fuck away from day him. 28. Come here. Get off of me! Shut up. Have a seat. Stop! Quit squirming. Don't touch Take the hot radio. That right? Call us an internship. Let me go. You're not gonna believe it until you see it for yourself. He's gonna shit. What make me watch? Just fucking ask next time, then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. T, come in. What's your position? Over. Shit. Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. No. Gonna get on his good side. Down to 20. Over. What's gonna happen? Well, I'll tell you. It's not going to be pretty. But don't worry. I'll be back at dawn. You're really going to leave me here? You'll be fine. Just don't get too close. You, I'm right next to those bars. You can move me a little further back. Max, tell me exactly what you're feeling. 
a little right. I don't feel so good. Do the vet. Not good, like how? I don't know, just bad. I mean, been there, bro. Come closer. Let me see your eyes. I think I better stay back. Max, I need to observe you. Is this fucking close enough for you, bitch? So aggressive. Is, he's wolfing out. Holy hell, the blood explosion. Holy, yep, yeah. and there goes her eye. Oh, wow, he. He. he Broke the pipe and inadvertently let me out. Fuck! Well, she is taking this very well. Washed up. Did she stitch? She, uh, yeah, she's a vet. Did she stitch up her own? Oh my god. So much for depth perception. You know what? Laura's kind of a badass. And she just went back to her cell. Let's see what that bastard cop's hiding. Steam is pushing him away. Yeah, never mind. My trail of blood. Probably where I've been doing all my showering and bathrooming. Chariot. The reins of the chariot. Pulled by wolves, if you notice here. Super. A copier. What are you hiding, Travis? Bizarriot Bonafide, cease and desist. A letter instructing those behind the Bizarriot Bonafide podcast to stop investigating Hackett's quarry. All right. Uh, it has come to my attention that you recently released an episode of your podcast that features the town of North Carolina, more specifically Hackett's quarry. You might understand the Context correctly, you have certain investigates the mystery of a ghost in the woods. 
the, the very idea that is completely preposterous, as I'm sure you're aware, no such thing exists. I'm ready to tell you that I, as the proprietors of Hackett's Quarry have expressed concerns that such unsavory stories could be detrimental to their various business avenues, including Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, which prides them on being a safe and fun environment for children from all over the country. It's within this in mind that I ask you to take down the episode from your podcast and refrain from releasing any further unsolicited public publicity around Hackett's Quarry. The proprietors of Southland would not be against seeking legal action if you do not comply with the requests. Please accept this letter, Travis Hackett. So Travis Hackett, there we go. Travis. Is this the uh, interrogation room? Oh no, this is like an office. Or nothing. Dead. T Hackett password. Hint. Not so much a hint as a slap in the face. My birthday. So I need to find. I don't know how long it took to dress my wounds. Free sure goes up in flames. Anne Radcliffe and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are. Missing hikers. So I found that one. Four month on, hiker still missing. Anne and Edward, is that Anne and Edward? Yep. Missing cats, missing dogs, Armin, Perla, Sasha, and Digweed. Freak show goes up in flames. He seems to be doing tracking on the topographical map. There's more. Fuck. I'm gonna need to rest soon. But I guess I can't leave Max. You're dedicated, I keep Laura. snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. Uh, we'll keep, we're snooping. We snoopy, yo. Call us the Red Baron, because we snoopy. Fifty-six. Not Where does the time go? Give Fifty-six. That means he was born in... 1965. Born in 1965. Gotcha. Alright, so we got a year. So we now need a... Month and a day. This 
must be what he used to knock me out. I can hide this in my cell. I need to lie down. And I think I know where in my cell I can hide it. Full moon. Birthday beers. July 7th. So 7765 or 0707 This can't be doing too well. Shard Sheriff's Badge from the Freak Show Fire. we're good let's go do the computer hide the syringe I think in that little uh, com uh, hole in brick wall that I wrote down because it was so patently suspicious The shit, we gotta shut it down. Can you handle it for me, Chris? Oh, the bizarre bona fide. But ghost hunters who went in search of answers and fell victim to the mercy of the hag of Hackett's quarry, never to be seen again. Like us. Except for the fell victim to the mercy of the blah, 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 blah part. So the two missing hikers were, were ghost we're hunters? Were like, um, ghost investigators? Spectre sleuths? Sure. So, what happened next? Well, according to reports from the local paper, the North Kill Gazette, some hay bales caught fire during the opening night, and that spread pretty quickly. Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke, including the show's leading lady and her alleged baby. Get up. Yeah. Bizarre yet bona fide. Listen to the podcast. I've exhausted this and myself. I need to sleep. Okay. So, that's going to be locked. I cast no aspersions there. So let's go back. So two hikers, two missing hikers, ghost hunters? Ghost chasers! They'll chase the ghosts when the others will not. 
Or Ghost Facer, sorry. Yeah, we're done. I think that was a significant amount of clues. Velma would be thrilled. You want to tell me what happened? I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Turn around, hands against the wall. The sheriff admires your dedication. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. But... So he did the blood face <sighs> thing, so he's one of the hunters. Me too. Brew some coffee. All right. Then we'll talk. And you'll What's this? An education. Watch. Who's more hand overalls? Oh, is he gonna make him watch himself turn into a werewolf? Day 29. This is four in the afternoon. Nice job cleaning up. The eye. I mean. Harder than they make out in the textbooks. Especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor. And no, I'm not. And I probably never will be stuck in here forever. You know, just because you know doesn't mean you know. You know? <laughs> Just because you know uh, about the existence of werewolves doesn't mean you understand the grasp what? of it. No, I got that. You're right, I'm not. Travis. This isn't what it seems to be. You're going to have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family... We didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. We're going to end this thing once and for all. We? Him and the hunters? Yeah. Okay. Fine, let's end it. Let Max and I go and we'll find someone who can help. Not what I had in mind. You're seriously asking for my help? I don't want you to help me. You're gonna do this for Max, and I'm gonna get what I need. Let's see how smart you really are. What is this? Information. Is this where I learned oh, what about? What does it mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. 
Mm -hmm. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver and the first, when moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. Nope. We're gonna get him to trust us. We're gonna get this. And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know. <laughs> That's all we have to go on. Kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver, it has to be full moon. Seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big F. But they mentioned the first. The first I werewolf? Cure Max. Silas the wolf boy. It's not as straightforward as you think. So wait, if Max got me in the eye, doesn't that mean I'm infected now too? No. Scratches don't do it. Only bites. Are you sure about that? Pretty sure. So what's the plan? Well, that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. Me? Yeah. Because your studies. I haven't even started. Well, you're the best option I got. I've been hunting this damn white wolf under the full moon so long I start to think it doesn't exist, you know? Maybe it doesn't matter because maybe there's another way. Whatever you believe, there's got to be some science. And you do science. All right. Look, take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. Seen enough? Damn. That'll really mess with your head. Damn. I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't... If I hadn't seen that. I believe him. I believe him. I think him. there's more to his story that I'm still not getting. You can't tell me you really trust that guy now. I didn't say that. I said I believe him about the werewolf stuff, not the science bit. But he's talking about the white wolf. I don't know wolf. what he wants. He's a dirty line kidnapping cop, Laura. We should be careful of anything that fucker says. But he said, so he's been keeping a werewolf locked up well, in the basement of Hackett's quarry. Fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're going to fix it on our own. Leaning towards Caleb and Lord. Kaylee. Yeah. And he has to turn the wolf that turned them. I saw what happened. What I did to your eye? Yeah. Is it bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry.
It wasn't you. I know it wasn't you. I know. Still sucks. But it was. We're gonna fix you, Max. I promise. I promise. In there. Chris. Oh, oops. I heard Chris. Oh. The townsfolk didn't show up. How'd you find out? Bobby told me. Said you scrapped an abandoned car. A while back, I, I worked out the rest. Shit. Why? Well, why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here. That's fucked up. I one of them, Chris. What am I supposed to do? What was that? No. You shot me. I'm telling Mom. I think your lucky stars wasn't silver. You shot me. What's your plan? Can't keep him here forever. Chris is a werewolf. Handling it. Maybe if you'd done your job, they wouldn't have been at the camp that night. You ever think of that? If I'd have done my job, you'd all be in prison. You ever think of that? That was all Bobby and Caleb. Are those know. hikers? And that, that, that fucking journalist? Damn it, Travis. What are we going to do now? Whatever happened to you, we're all in this together. Bobby and Caleb. Let's go to my office. We shouldn't talk here. Max! Uh. Max! Uh. What is it? Travis was just in the hall talking, the cop. So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? No. He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit, that's... That's why Who guessed? he didn't answer, because he was locked in the basement. I, mean, I guess Thinking about it, I could have. And yet you didn't. It all makes sense. I thought it was Caleb or Caleb. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. That's true. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter because it was his fucking brother. God, it's so obvious. If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then we have to kill Chris. Yeah, then that's our cure. That's how we fix you. But obviously, Jesus, Laura, we Travis the same doesn't thing? want that. Which is why he's so hesitant and wanting a scientific answer. Tomorrow, we're getting out of here. I'm gonna get Travis's gun and kill Chris Hackett. So this is August 10th. Hey, August hey, 22nd is her. the last day. Laura needs help! Uh, Laura! <laughs> Laura, are you okay? It was August 22nd. Okay, never mind. God damn it. What the hell's going on? Laura! Take his radio, take his keys, take his gun, take the needle. <laughs> Starting to think you were really sick. Well, maybe I should consider acting as my major. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Acting as a fallback. We should go before he wakes yeah. up.
We should grab our stuff. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. Okay. What is it? I thought I heard someone. This damn hag. It's coming from behind that door. This way. It didn't listen to us. Yep, we got the key ring. There's nobody in here. What the fuck? But silver. He makes them. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month hunting. Well, I guess I won't be needing this anymore. So we got a shotgun full hey, of silver. I just realized something. We're free. <laughs> I mean, hell yeah, we are. That's two months we'll never get back, but for now, we're one step closer to going home. And when is that? Tonight. Going to Hackett's quarry. We're killing Chris Hackett. All right. Now we we've caught up. We still don't know what she did earlier this night, why she and I made my way here, to camp. Left Max at the island. Seemed like the best place for him, surrounded by water and all. So that was Max on the island. That's it. That's the story. And I'll jump in at the same time. Wait. The island? Like, like our island? Like the one in the lake? Yeah, why? Because Jacob... He went back there looking for Emma, and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them has. Oh, shit. So... Encourage them. Well, as long as they didn't go poking around where they shouldn't have, they're probably fine. Poking around where he shouldn't have is Jacob's middle name. This is very bad. Oh... After you saw me at the pool, after I shot Chris, um, I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. But... But he wasn't. So, is it... So are Chris and Kaylee and Caleb all wolves? Are there three of them running around now too? But a three again because of Max, so... Well, at one point there are four werewolves. But again, what about Silas the wolf boy? I'm still thinking he's the original werewolf because they mentioned Max? the first. Max! Max? 
Hello? Dive in. Hold your breath. We know that. They hunt by breath. So which of the wolves was captured? So the werewolf I killed can't have been Chris. That wasn't a werewolf. It was Haley Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Unless, I, I guess, it turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so how come Max didn't kill you? Oh, damn. He tried. I got away. I need to end this. We don't have much time. Oh, this is a new person. So was it Max that was captured? Or is Max still on the island? Who is this lady? Let me go! Let me fucking go! Get your hands off me! Please let me go! Okay, I didn't mean for this to happen, please! Please! Oh my god, why aren't you answering me? Oh, 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 is your, is your money that you want? Cause Cause my dad's got money, like lots of it. Oh, yeah. I mean, not really, but you could get some, probably. Please, just let me go, please. I'm so sorry. Oh, Jesus Christ. Still don't know what's the deal with these hunters. One of these three has, two has to be Bobby. That's too, Bobby. The older gentleman is Bobby. Hey! Hey! Hey, where are you going? Hey! Hey! Oh, fuck. oh shit. Unless that is... Nick. Okay, so possibilities. People we don't know. It could be Nick, Max. Caleb, Chris, or Silas the dog boy. 
That's where I'm at right now. Up here. Nosy little rat, aren't you? Poking your nose where it doesn't belong. Don't believe everything you hear. Anyway, here we are again. Let's see what you've brought me this time, shall we? The chariot? The chariot. At the reins of a chariot, we would all feel safer. Taking control, relying on determination to make our choices. Valiant, but in some cases, foolish. Many seek refuge in chariots. But perhaps, in some cases, they're not as safe as we think they are. The car. Emma. Ah, the world. <laughs> Often, travelers' paths are direct, but sometimes it is not so simple. Sometimes they're intertwined with others. Compassion over anger. You will need friends where you're going. It's not until we fall into the belly of the beast that we realize how perilous things can be. And hmm. the same question as always. Will you let me show you more? Chariot or world? Only one future can be seen. Choose. Let's go the world though. No, yeah. Oh. You'll be seeing me a few more times. So that was Ryan the falling. I look forward to that as long as you follow the right path, of course. All right. So we have seven pieces of evidence. Chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four, chapter five, chapter six, and chapter seven. So I found all the evidence so far, which leads me to believe that there's going to be at least ten chapters. So probably eight, nine, ten. The fire at Harem Scarum six years ago took the lives of many. It's rumored to have been arson. No wonder it made the front page. The previous sheriff was killed in the fire. I had a clue from that one, but I missed it. C. Hackett and T. Hackett, Chris and Travis, they're brothers. So this means I missed the inciting uh, key, uh, clue, but I found a supporting clue for it. Box of matches, Harbinger Motel. Laura used these matches to light a campfire and wait until nightfall to hunt Chris. This explains the light Caitlin saw on the island. Okay. Laura and Max were kidnapped by Travis and Chris tried to hide it by not reporting that they didn't show up for camp. The big total sense knowing he was on a time limit, Chris didn't want to risk the nurse being around when he turned into a werewolf. Laura and Max. Laura was supportive of Travis during their imprisonment. Laura was honest about the cop. Laura didn't try to take the gun. Laura used the syringe on Travis during her and Max's escape. And the white whale, or in this case, the white wolf, consumed by obsession, when the chance to grasp all you've ever wanted means sacrificing all you've ever had, do you take the path? Laura did not shoot Travis when escaping her cell. There's four more paths we can start. Okay. Emma's at the lodge.
there's a little icon next to Emma's name there that I was I, I don't think I've seen before. So it's a little icon Emma. So we now know that the wolf on the island is Max. Cool. Hacketeer, adventurer, wilderness, and individuality. Sorry. No one's at the boathouse. No one's at the lake. Everyone else is in the pool house, right? Abby, Dylan, Caitlin, Laura, and Ryan. So currently missing is Jacob and Nick. Nick, who has wolfed out. And Jacob, who has been captured by these people. We know that Travis was talking to them, and so was Chris. Could they also be relatives of the Hackett's? We know the older man is Bobby, so we don't know who the younger man is. We still haven't seen Caleb. But if Chris is a werewolf, could it be congenital? So maybe he had two werewolf kids, and Kaylee and Caleb are werewolves too? That's possible, I guess. Has it always been Hackett's quarry? Has the Hackett's always been here? And All right. There's a lot of questions in the air. A lot of questions floating about. Uh... And we will find all about them next time. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, if you've been liking this at all, throw me a like. Comment on the video. Tell me what you think. Uh, tell me where you think this is going. Uh, or just subscribe. Help me grow the channel. Thank you guys so much. You're the best. I'll be seeing you. Until next time. Peace.